Hello Super User! So today we're going to learn how to rebeam 8th notes in Finale. Now specifically when you get situations like this where you have three 8th notes beamed together, oftentimes players will just automatically think that's a triplet, even when there's not a 3 down below. Part of that is just that triplets are usually beamed together and usually when you see three 8th notes beamed together they are triplets. And part of that is historical convention where after you know a couple measures of playing triplets they actually just won't include the three at the bottom to save ink because at that point it's redundant information and by default finale will actually beam your notes like this and there's two ways to fix it there's the hard and manual way and there's the easy and automatic way and i'm going to show you both of them and by the way thank you to all the composers that have signed up for parts and score uh, we're up to 17 now if you didn't catch last week's video i announced this as a better and easier way to sell and promote your music over the last week, I've gotten a whole lot of feedback from composers just like you, and over the weekend, I've introduced a whole slew of improvements to make your lives even easier while using this. Uh, and if this sounds like something you want to explore more, you either see last week's video or go to partsandscore.com. And now, on to the video! So first, the hard and manual way. Uh, we're going to come over here and just select the note after it, and then if we hit forward slash, it will unbeam the note before. Technically, we could also do this note, hit forward slash, and then it will unbeam that note as well. But that's usually not good practice for engraving. And we could do the same thing over here and we hit forward slash on the note afterwards and it will break the beam. Now this can take a lot of time, especially if you have a large piece of music and you don't wanna to have to do this every single time you wanna unbeam notes. So there's an easier and faster way. So I'm just gonna quickly undo those changes. And then we're gonna go over to our document options. Now you can either hit Option Command A, or you can come up here to Document and Document Options, and you'll go to the Beams page. Now here there is, you know, a couple settings for beamings, and the one that is causing the eighth notes to beam how they are is the beam three eighth notes before and after an eighth rest. So if we want to automatically unbeam this and beam it normally like it as it was in just normal four four, we can unselect this, hit Apply, and OK. And what's that done is it's changed the default option. So now if we were to later on put three eighth notes in there followed by an eighth rest, it'll beam it normally. But what about music we already have? To do that, we just highlight the music, come up here to utilities, rebeam music, and rebeam music, and it will rebeam it according to your document options. Now, there's actually a couple other cool features in here uh, that I didn't talk about. You can also include rests when beaming in groups of four. So for instance, if I were to come over here and do note, 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 rest, note, it will beam it with that document option on. If it's not selected, it will then look like this. I personally prefer this solution, so I always leave this unchecked. And you can also beam four notes together in common time. Uh, what this looks like is if you were to have four eighth notes together like that, it'll automatically beam it together. Oftentimes this just helps with grouping and help make it simpler for players to read, but not everyone likes this look. So you can always uncheck this as well. And again, to rebeam music you've already written, come up here to Utilities, Rebeam, Rebeam Music. And if you never want to worry about rebeaming your music in the future, just add your preferences that you like into your document styles, and that way you'll never have to worry about changing these settings or rebeaming eighth notes again. So that's it for today. If you found that video helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. Each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest, so if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that way you get notified each time a new video comes out.